guys, what's going on? Jamie here. I wanted to do another update video for you guys. In this video, um, this video might run longer than most. So if you are looking for a specific platform, you can kind of fast forward through it. But I do want to take my time, give you as much info and value on each of these platforms on each of these platforms, what they have going on, what's going to be coming up in the future for them, what I like, what I don't like, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't want to kind of rush through the video. Normally, I'm kind of rushing through it to try to get it done in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And I, this one here, I want to kind of go through in detail um, thoughts, what's going on, uh, and all that good stuff. So again, if you want to fast forward through it, you can. Of course, it goes without saying that anything I talk about on my videos is for pure entertainment purposes only. Never giving you financial advice. It's important that you do your own research, you do your own due diligence. Everything in crypto, everything that I talk about, whether you're staking, whether you're buying into an IDO or an ICO, whether you're putting it into a platform, getting a new coin, whatever, okay, farming, it's all going to be super risky, guys. Okay, there's all different, you know, every single one of them has its own risk. There's advantages, disadvantages. So again, do your own homework, figure out if it's for you. And if it is, only put in what you can afford to lose. Also, follow me on Telegram. I will leave a link for that down below. And uh, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, you can post it right under this video. I'll do my best to answer it. Or you can send me a DM on Telegram, okay? Um, so I'll leave that information down below, or if you just go to my tele, my group telegram in the about section, it shows you how you can, you know, leave me a personal DM. I chat with people all day long, people that are on my YouTube channel, people that are following me on telegram. I'm constantly talking to people all day long over there. So let's jump into it. Okay. We're not even going to cover the markets here. Uh, let's just talk about these platforms straight away. So drip, as you can see here, let's go to, um, the swap uh, drip right now is at $33 and 85 cents, um, which is good. I mean, it's kind of floating around 30 to $35. It's kind of bouncing up and down, but it's, it's you know, it's floating around that area. So it seems like it's found somewhat of a floor. Um, will it continue to go up? Will it continue to, you know, hit the numbers where it was before 40, 50, $60. I think the all time high was like a little bit over $60. We don't know. We're going to find out. But if it just stays, if it just stays around this floor, around 30 to $35, and you're putting it into the faucet contract where you're getting 1% a day and earning up till you hit 365%, I mean, it's still a super, you know, potentially profitable contract, right? Um, so for me, I'm not really worried about it. Um, as you guys know, I put in some pretty, you know, pretty big deposits. And um, as you can see here, here's the stats. You can take a quick look at this yourself. Now, I am going to be putting in a, a another um, another deposit. It'll probably be a, a you know a sizable one. Uh, I'm just kind of contemplating my options right now. As you guys know, there are limitations to this contract, and, and the limitations. When I say limitations, I use that term loosely because you know for people that are putting in big amounts or building big teams. Um, they're probably more susceptible to this quote unquote uh, limit than, you know, the average person, you know, the max payout that you can earn in a, in an account is a hundred thousand is a hundred thousand, right? Once you hit a hundred thousand, I believe it stops, it either stops paying or you only earn, a, you know, a certain amount, but not from your entire account, right? Again, this is not a, <laughs> this is not a major concern for 99% of the people, right? Um, but for me, I'm still, I'm wondering if I should put that sizable deposit in this account, um, which I'll probably max out if I do that or open up, open up a second account. So, um, I'm kind of leaning towards opening a second account. Now, if I open up a second account, I'm, I want to be very clear. If you're on our team, nothing's going to change, right? I'm still going to be doing updates with this account. I'm going to be doing, um, airdrops from this account. So nothing's going to change for you at all. Um, however, if you want to follow me on that second account and, um, you know, open up a second wallet, follow me over there on my second account, then you'll, you know, you'll get airdrops from not only this account, but from also that account as well. Um, so again, I'm just kind of thinking down the road. It's not really a big concern right now, but 
I'm thinking down the road, I don't want to max out my account um, and then kind of start my start a second account. Then I figure, you know what, let me just start a second account now. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of weighing out my options, but I'm probably 90% going to do that. So stay tuned for that. You know, I'll drop the link um, over on Telegram and I'll make a video giving you that link um, if and when I do that. And it seems like, well, most likely I'm going to do that. Um, but like I said, nothing changes for you. You know, you're going to go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. Um, keep building your account. You're going to be doing airdrops and all that stuff from this account, my original account. So again, nothing changes on your end. I'm just thinking down the road. Um, and it just shows you, you know, that I'm pretty bullish on this because um, typically I don't really think down the road for any platform, right? I'm kind of dealing with the here and now. This one, I, you know, I do believe this one here has some legs, guys, okay? Because for me, the way I look at it is when you have a dev that is very, very active, like he's super active. The dev, you know, Forex Shark is super active, um, always looking to innovate. You know, he's answering questions. Um, that for me is a huge, huge deal, right? I wouldn't be putting, you know, 50,000 and 30,000 and stuff like that if I didn't think, you know, a platform had some legs. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be putting in a second deposit here pretty soon. And uh, as you can see here, this one here, we're just from this account, we're earning well over 6,000 a day with this one here. So, yeah, drip, super pumped. Um, you know, what more can I say that hasn't been said, right? <laughs> they got new partnerships that are coming out. Um, I believe there's, they're going to be making an, an announcement for something pretty big pretty soon. They've hinted, over, hinted at it over on their Telegram. Um, so we're kind of waiting for that. Um, but yeah, things are looking really, really solid for Drip and the Drip Network. Um, again, I'll leave this buddy address I'll leave down below. I'll, and again, when I create that new account, you know, look out for it over on my Telegram, um, and I'll make a video for that pretty soon. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what I have to say about Drip Network. Now, let's talk about Uswap. The IDO for Lori has ended. If you can, if you, uh, again, this is on Tron, guys, so you need to have your Tron link wallet open. But uh, if you go to IDO right here, you can see here that it's ended, okay? Um, let me go back to exchange, go back to Lori. Uh, UME. So one Lori right now is one UME. Now, when this was on the IDL, it was 0.1 UME. So it's already 10X. Now, it's 10X on the dashboard, right? It's a dashboard 10X because, again, you're only going to get 2% of your Lori every single day. So you can't just take you know the amount of Lori that you got in the IDO and then cash out. Right. And they did that on purpose because they don't want to pump and dump. They want this thing to organically or, you know, they want it to to increase in price over time. Um, they're kind of doing what Daisy's doing, but Daisy's doing it on a monthly where they've created a vesting period. Then you only get a certain amount every month. Well, with this, you're getting a certain amount every day. Right now, just so you know, you can't claim your lorry that you got in the IDO right now. You're refunded UME. You can't get that either. Um, the way the contract is coded, it's going to be released with the first 2%, which is tomorrow, okay? So it's tomorrow. Um, in their telegram, they said 2 p.m. CET time. Now, I'm not exactly sure what time that is, um, you know, on my, in my neck of the woods or your neck of the woods, so you're going to have to look that up. But that's when the first 2% is going to be released. And the way the contract is coded, that's when you're going to be able to claim your lorry and claim the UME that is going to be refunded to you. Okay. Um, so overall, this thing, uh, this thing is it's listed now on the exchange. There is liquidity uh, and you can actually buy Lori now from the exchange. Um, if you want to, totally up to you. Um, again, if you want to, why would you want to do that, by the way? Because if you go over to staking, Um, you can see here that the Lori UME and Lori TRX farming pools is paying out 14,000% and uh, 11, almost 12,000%. Now, of course, that's going to drop over time, but these pools, you know, right now are paying pretty high and it, it's, uh, it's one week, you know, it's paying out this crazy APY. Again, it's going to drop as people get into these pools, but this pool is going to expire in one week. And then after that, you're going to have to unstake your uh, LP tokens, restake them, 
and you know do what you want to do but my point is why would you want to buy lori right now um when it's at one ume uh, well because you can make that up and you know make a nice profit just by farming it um so that's you know that's a that's an option right most likely that's what i'm going to probably do um because i do have a bunch of ume um I have a bunch of you and me in my wallet, and I have a bunch of you and me that I have it claimed. If I go to my, um, I got about three thousand dollars worth of you and me right here. So I'm gonna just claim that, and then I'll probably throw that into the into the farm because it's paying off a ridiculously high amount right now. Um, but that's going on. That's what's going on. Okay. Um, I'm still farming you and me, as you can see. And also the other thing too is the chickens game, right? That game where you can, um, you know, it's gonna be like an ROI slash Tamagotchi type of <laughs> type of game um, that actually launches on Thursday, okay? So two days from now, Thursday, 2 p.m. CET time, that's when you're gonna be able to, you know, get involved with that game, okay? Um, so moving on, crypto future, crypto future yesterday paid out one point. 12%. Um, day before that, it paid out 1.09%. So last two days, it's paid out well over 1%. This one here is working great. Um, it does launch on the 30th. And uh, again, I don't know exactly know what's going to happen on the 30th. Um, I think, you know, as far as I know, it's going to just continue doing what it's doing right now. Um, but they're going to be launching a few different other products. But we'll see. You know, so far, so good. Again, this one here is, all of these are risky, right? But um, this one here is more of a centralized platform. So, you know, we'll see what happens here. But so far, so good. Uh, Daisy, this one here, this is the, uh, we're right now in the preferred customer round, only, I believe, two days left um, to get it at a dollar. After that, the next round, which will be the final round before it goes on the exchange, um, you'll be able to purchase this at $2.50 per token. Once it goes on the exchange, there's going to be five exchanges. They haven't named that yet because I, they're under an NDA. Um, but when once it goes on those five exchanges, plus Uniswap, plus PancakeSwap, um, it's going to it's going to start at $5. Now, of course, the market will dictate where it's going to go from there. However, because of this vesting period that they've that they've instituted where you can't dump these tokens, right? Um, you're only going to get five percent of your tokens every month. I don't see how at five, you know, when they do list it at five dollars, it's going to majorly dump to zero, right, or one dollar. Might come down a little bit because people will, you know, sell their five percent that that's been released, and every month they're going to get five percent. But majority of people, from from my feeling, is they're going to stake it, right? Because this is, the, you know, one thing about Daisy is they have a very strong community. You have to be strong, right, to go through what they've gone through, right? When they launched Daisy AI, uh, the Matrix, they, you know, they, they, they've had a couple of hiccups. There was a couple of hiccups, to say the least. Yet their community stayed, you know, tightly knit, and they're super excited about this token. So I don't see how people are going to be dumping this. They're going to be, you know, it's, they can't number one, right, because of the vesting period, and then number two, they're going to be staking it for rewards. Um, and creating another passive income stream, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my tokens. I'm going to stake them. So again, I don't see how this thing is, is going to dump. Of course, this is crypto. I don't have any guarantees, right? Um, but so far, you know, that's that's my feeling with this. Um, so you know, if you're getting it at a dollar, and let's say it gets listed at five dollars, even if it comes down a little bit to what three, four dollars, right, or four dollars, I mean, you're still up if you're buying it at a dollar right and if then if you're staking it and you're earning passive rewards you know to create a passive income all the better now right now you can get a 10 percent bonus on you know uh, the amount of tokens that you're purchasing you do need to have usdt in your wallet okay um usdt in your tron link wallet that's what's going to enable you to purchase these tokens um but that's what's going on so again this is a little bit down the road I believe August is when they're going to do the last round, right? Which is a couple of days. Um, when this thing ends, they're going to go. I don't know if they're going to go immediately into that next round, 
but I, I believe September, October is when they're going to be, um, is when they're going to list it, right? So again, this is a little bit, you know, a couple of weeks out, but now you can get in at a dollar. Um, here's another one, guys, that this, you can get in early with this. Now, again, no guarantees here. You're sacrificing your crypto. There are no guarantees whatsoever here, guys. Um, but there's 16, uh, what is that, 16 hours left in to today, but there's six days left for the sacrifice, for, right? The sacrifice phase that it's going to be over. I don't know if they're going to be launching the, the chain immediately after. There might be a little bit of, you know, um, you know, there might be some time in between. Um, but yeah, there's people that are super heavy in this. I got in early on this. It's still early. Obviously, this thing hasn't launched, but I got in, I think, day one, day two. Um, went in again on, um, I think, day three. Um, I might even go in uh, a little bit, a little bit more. You know, I'm just kind of contemplating here. But again, no guarantees with this one. But if it does what Hex did, and again, there's no guarantees that it will. Even if it does a fourth of what Hex did, and again, I'm not saying it's apples and oranges, right? This is an actual chain, uh, you know, blockchain. Um, Hex isn't. Um, so again, I'm just comparing apples and oranges, but it's from the same people, right? It's from the same uh, team. You know, this is going to be pretty big, right? There's a lot of hype behind it. Again, community, the community that they have around them is pretty significant, right? And it, one thing about crypto, guys, it's all about community. If, the, if a platform, a token, an exchange, or whatever you, whatever there is, if there's a strong community around it, it's going to do well going to do well we've seen it over and over and over again it doesn't even really matter as much anymore you know with audits and tokenomics and all this other fancy schmancy stuff as long as there's a community that's backing it excited you know you know tight community that's um, built around it and supporting it a platform is going to do well and if one thing's for sure hex has a super strong community guys a huge community and so we'll see what happens here Okay, uh, again, not giving you any guarantees, do what you need to do, but just giving you a heads up, there's only six days until the sacrifice phase is over. Okay, so last but not least, guys, I uh, just wanted to give you an update on this one here. I talked about this uh, yesterday, I put up a video, um, uh, you know, my thoughts on this after, it hasn't even been 24 hours, it'll be 24 hours later this afternoon. But um, less than a day in, my thoughts, um, and you know, based on my conversations with with some of the, the people that are in the higher ups, quote unquote, of this, I've, I've had a few conversations with them. This was actually brought to me by uh, an old sponsor of mine. I was in a, I was in an old plat, not an old platform, but I was in a platform called Nexus way back when, like two years ago. Um, did re really well with that platform until you know until it stopped really working the way it's supposed to be working. And I, you know, kept in contact with my, with my sponsor um, message, you know, we were kind of messing each other back and forth. He would show me different stuff over, you know, the last two years, I would show him a couple of different things. And he's the one that actually brought this to me. So because we had a relationship, I said, look, you know, I'll take a quick look at it. Like what I saw, I still do. Um, but I, again, I want to give you my, my unbiased hundred percent thoughts on this, and what I'm going to do with it. Okay. Um, because there are a couple of things that have come up. Nothing crazy. Well, it depends how you look at it, right? Uh, number one, they're still, you know, they're obviously launching their own coin called Wirecoin. Um, they're launching their own DEX called Wire Swap. So that I believe it's already set up, but they're going to be launching it here in a couple of days. Um, also, I still believe it's super early. This thing hasn't even launched. Like the platform itself hasn't even launched. Um, the platform, which Taurus Protocol is the marketing arm for WireSwap, okay? Um, so it's two different things. Like WireSwap, we haven't seen. Like I, I haven't seen, even seen WireSwap yet. Um, but that's going to be their exchange. And then Taurus Protocol is the marketing arm slash network marketing component of WireSwap, right? So this, will, this UI right here, this is not the exchange. So they're going to be launching their own exchange. It's still early. Again, like I said, they... They haven't even launched the DEX, uh, the platform itself, which you're looking at here, it doesn't even launch for another I think, two days. Um, so we're getting in super early. However, a couple of things, um, you know, that I don't know if it was a miscommunication because there is a, 
uh, a language barrier there. So a lot of times, you know, I do have to repeat myself a couple of times for them to understand um, because they're from Germany. They speak English, obviously, but some, sometimes things get lost in translation. I've watched a couple of, I've been on a couple of webinars and I've watched a couple of webinars. And uh, one thing that, um, the way this thing is gonna work from what I understand now, after kind of going back and forth for several hours with them, um, you know, because of the time zone, I was like up late last night talking to them. Um, and then early, early, early this morning, because we're on a, obviously two different time zones, is uh, you buy a package, right? As you can see here, I have a $2,500 package. Um, I, I don't think anyone that I've referred has come in with a sizable package like this. I think the biggest one was, you know, 800 bucks or 850 or something like that. But I came in with the biggest package, obviously, and rightfully so. Like, I'm always going to take the biggest risk. Um, and the way this package works is you're going to get daily payouts. Um, once you get daily payouts, you can then exchange your daily payouts for Wirecoin. Okay. Um, so again, I was under, from what I understand, and I've, I've been on several webinars, this, you know, they've, the way they've explained it, I was under the impression that you're going to get coins with the package that you buy. Okay. Um, now they're telling me that, you know, what, what's going to happen is you buy your package, you get daily payouts and your daily payouts, you can exchange for wire coin. Um, so for example, if I go here, so I go to the, oops, so now the exchange isn't working or now this exchange page isn't working. Um, so I might, I might have to go back and do it later. Um, but you can actually exchange, um, you can exchange whatever you have in your wallet for wire coin again this thing isn't even live yet so there's going to be some glitches uh, let me try again yeah so um it was working a second ago so i'm gonna to have to go back to it but then you can exchange that for wire coin um now what what am i gonna do with this i'm for me i'm gonna i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait until they launch their decks i'm gonna wait till they launch everything in a couple of days then kind of reevaluate it and then, um, cause again, you know, they're, they're being at least, you know, e even regardless of the language barrier, they're trying to be as transparent as they can. Um, it's not like they're not launching their own coin. They're going to be launching their own coin. They're going to be launching their own decks. It's still super early. Okay. They're projecting, like they said in their, in their webinar, there's only 5 million of these coins. If they sell 3 million, the price of the coin is going to be 40 bucks. Right. It's still right now, you know, people were getting in at 10 cents, 15 cents. I believe right now it's, at, uh, let me see here if I can find out. Yeah, it's at, it's at, uh, 57 cents per wire coin. So even if we're getting it at this particular price right here, it's still, um, you know, if it does go to 40 bucks, let's say, it does half as well and it only goes up to 20 bucks let's say it even doesn't even do that it goes up to 10 bucks um you know and you you got it at 15 cents 20 cent or you're getting it at you know 50 cents rather it goes up to 10 bucks i mean that's still you know pr pretty big gains now that being said i'm gonna kind of wait um I, I took down my video yesterday and i've uh you know obviously yesterday i posted four or five times over on telegram that's why you got to follow me on telegram posted a couple of times on telegram to hold off on buying a package because there's a couple of things that you know there's you know a couple of discrepancies that i need to get cleared up um so for me i'm gonna i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait and see what happens i'm gonna wait till this thing launches officially and obviously once they launch their decks and kind of reevaluate it then until then i'm just gonna get my payouts i'm gonna just exchange them for a wire coin um and then kind of reevaluate when everything is up and running. When you get in this early in a launch and it's like days before it actually even launches, um, again, there's gonna be, there's gonna be things that come up. I mean, that's just the way it is, right? And anything that I've ever got into and it was this early, there's always been, you know, a couple of, you know, questions that come up, things that, you know, things that you need more clarity on. So for me, I'm just gonna kind of wait, see what happens. I'm gonna get on a conversation with them again and know hear hear them out because they, they've been trying to reach me as you can see earlier here they were 
uh, messaging me over on Telegram. Um, I'll kind of find out, you know, from them what, what their plans are, what they're going to do. But as of right now, um, I'm going to just kind of put this, put this, um, you know, keep this, keep a loose eye on this and put this on the side for now. And then once everything is launched here in a couple of days, um, I'm going to reevaluate it. Now, if you have any questions on this, by the way, if you have any questions that you don't, uh, you know, you might have personal or whatever, hit me up over on Telegram. You know, uh, I'm there. You can uh, ask me whatever. Um, we'll, you know, we'll figure out if you, if you have any, if you have a question that I don't have the answer to, we'll get someone else to answer it. Um, but that's my thoughts right now. It hasn't even been a day, but we'll see what happens here. Um, again, this thing could be super profitable still. I'm not saying that it's not going to be. I just want to get everything kind of cleared out. You know, obviously because it's not launched yet, the Dex isn't launched yet, the platform isn't launched yet. There's still kind of things that are a little bit foggy. Once that fog clears up, once they launch everything and I can see everything clearly, I can reevaluate it and say, okay, I'm going to run with this, right? Or I'm just going to, you know, collect my payouts passively and keep it on the back burner. But I'll be able to evaluate it once everything kind of gets cleared up, more conversations are made. And, uh, you know, they started doing webinars because that's what they said they were going to do. They, they have a couple of webinars on YouTube and they've been doing private webinars where they don't record it and post it. But they're going to be doing webinars, I think, every day. Um, once this thing launches, it'll become more and more clear. So anyway, that being said, guys, hit me up over on Telegram if you have any questions. Um, <clears throat> lots of good stuff happening here. This is crypto, guys. Never a boring day in crypto. Um, everything is risky, guys. I want to be very clear. Everything is risky. So only put in what you can afford to lose. And um, yeah, that's my update for today, guys. Uh, again, follow me on Telegram and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.